it's public health and um, and wastewater based epidemiology and surveillance, and it's a new summit that's coming um, in Cincinnati this year in March. And certainly, um, you know, the pandemic has shown us a lot about uh, how responsive we need to be with regards to disinfection and public health in general, and and some of the the challenges. Um, our workforce, the water workforce, faces in encountering these uh, these elements. So, um, so we're really excited about that. I think it'll be a great opportunity to bring some really talented, skilled um, researchers and um, and really public health officials. You know, that's that's been a challenge for us with regards to wastewater-based epidemiology and that wastewater and public health mm. officials haven't always necessarily been uh, together at the table. And uh, wastewater-based epidemiology and that type of surveillance really gives us an opportunity to work together in a new way and and, and provide and empower public health officials with um, the least invasive types of surveillance. Mm. Uh, and, and at a broad community level, that really affords them that opportunity to proactively respond as best they can. And, you know, wastewater-based epidemiology is certainly a tool that, you know, we want to try to see promoted and leveraged to the best of its ability. Um, because again, it is a way to surveil the, the, the environment and what's going on um, in, a, in a non-intrusive way and give them that, that uh, proactive data set they can yeah. respond to. And that's, that's going to be important beyond just COVID. Oh, There's absolutely. Gonna, applications in the absolutely. future in a lot of different ways. Yes. And this conference in March uh, in Ohio will be a great opportunity to network with public health yes. people, learn and build those relationships we need to, to yeah, move forward. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, you know, that they, they talk about the fact that obviously we're still reeling from this pandemic, but it, it won't be the last. It certainly wasn't the first. Mm. Um, and, you know, there's there's a lot of research that talks about how wastewater-based epidemiology really could have helped in prior pandemics as well. And so we certainly want to be proactive, learn from that, and and set our public health officials up and, and everyone really for a much more rapid response should this should this situation ever happen again. So 